Hey guys, Otaku here, and welcome back to another video. So the 2023 World Championship ban or forbidden limited list just came out today, or I, most likely tomorrow by the time you're watching, or yesterday when you're watching this video. Um, and I decided uh, a lot of, well, I didn't decide this, but I, I noticed that a lot of the decks we have known for like the last several months are just butchered um because uh the combining of the ocg and the tcg ban list so real quick just to make it clear for anyone who doesn't understand um for the world championship the ocg and the tcg players come to play uh to see who is the best player of the world that year um so what they do to kind of balance the the d different ban lists out is they kind of combine them um no cards go up so no card goes from one to two uh, cards only go down so the the list usually follows whichever list has the more strict rule if a, if a card is hit similarly on each list um, which can lead to a lot of certain decks just not performing at all at worlds but also any um, any format that has a card that doesn't exist in the other format that card is just automatically banned so a lot of TCG exclusive decks like Godi and go uh, Godi and gold pride the entire deck is banned so we won't be seeing those at world um, but also the current rules are is that any cards released after June 24th 2023 are not allowed and cards from battles of legend monstrous revenge um, is very case by case for the card. Uh, for example, Assault Synchron is banned at Worlds. Um, it's just, it's very card dependent, but most likely any card that wasn't banned from Monstrous Revenge most likely probably isn't relevant to begin with. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to go over just the decks that we're most likely going to possibly see at Worlds and how likely they are to win Worlds. Um, I've mainly just got a list of the decks that we've been seeing top or just do well over the last several months um or realistically the entire year uh so we're just of course going to be going over the the tier lists here um most definitely these are the decks that are going to have the highest possibility of winning um because they most likely just didn't really get touched or they had very minimal changes from the ban list um very possible these are decks that uh still have the possibility of just kind of uh doing very well and winning uh this is mainly just decks that got hit off that ban hit on the ban list they're gonna struggle but if they have the right matchups they won't have to worry um moving on to not likely these are decks that are just <laughs> there's a very 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 small chance they can win worlds but the chance is still there uh and yeah right these are decks that are just not gonna win these are decks that either have been butchered or realistically they just don't stand a chance uh, against the decks that are like in the top two tiers um we're gonna start with branded my uh my favorite deck um of all time branded unfortunately i just branded is very it's it's not likely um branded has been severely butchered by the two ban lists uh branded fusion brand opening are both limited in the ocg um dragoon is banned in the ocg um we also don't have uh, branded expulsion. Uh, there's just it's not very likely that Brandon is going to be able to do much here. Um, so, yeah, that that's basically that. That's all there is to it. It's just all of the main things that get keep the deck moving. Dragoon opening and fusion. There's just too strict of rules on it. Um, branded expulsion is non-existent. Um, so most likely branded fusion will just or branded in general will make an appearance most definitely, but probably won't do very well. Next is Flawandries. Um, honestly, this is a yeah, right. Um, I'd be genuinely surprised if Flawandries even made an appearance at Worlds. Um, the hit to the Stormwind statue and then the limit on their field spell, the map, is honestly enough to just kind of kill the deck. We're seeing in Master Duel that they just are getting hit left and right with ban and limit and all that, and somehow the deck is still very playable. But realistically, um, Flawandries and the TCG and the OCGs can't keep up. Whereas in Master Duel, because it's a best of one format, uh, it can very much keep up. Um, but so I just, again, I don't foresee this even making an appearance at Worlds, but even if it did, it has no chance at all of topping. Sword Soul, honestly, I would say it has a very possible chance. Um, Worlds usually is the chance where a lot of decks that kind of became underwhelming after the meta grew and grew, um, being Sword Soul being one of those decks. Um, 
those are the times that the decks usually start to shine and they come in and kind of just swoop worlds sword soul wasn't really touched on the ban list in fact as far as i'm aware of it wasn't touched at all um and sword soul is just a very powerful and strong deck very consistent um it has a very strong possibility um however there are a couple of decks in this list that were also not untouched and most likely are just going to destroy worlds um but the sword souls definitely i'd say have a very strong possibility um just because they they weren't touched at all and a lot of the decks that bullied them out of the meta branded being one of those decks uh, are severely hit in both um metas for sure or in both uh formats for sure uh sky striker honestly um I want to say very possible. We saw we've been seeing Sky Strikers do a lot of toppings at regionals and stuff like that. They topped, uh, they got a couple toppings in like top 64, I believe, uh, or even top 32, at um, the most recent nationals, the NAWCQ or whatever. Um, Sky with the Sky Tri Sky Strikers having multi rollback and also having um, engage it too, it just helped the deck out a lot. Um, I do think Sky Striker does suffer from a lot of issues that some of these other decks suffer um being that the bestials are a problem however the bestials aside from serenir are all limited uh magnamute Druus, and lubellion are all limited another reason why branded is just not going to see a lot of play at uh at worlds um and if it does see play it doesn't really succeed but uh, the big thing that really hurts sky strikers is bestials and bestials are just not going to see a lot of play because they're three of the four of them are limited um so i think that that really paves the way for sky strikers to do a lot more success at worlds absolutely um exo sisters again the same issue exo sisters uh the bis shields are a big problem because they're all light and uh again exo sisters is a very very strong very strong deck after especially after sakitama came out um in sayak and uh, the deck has become just very consistent. I've had the, the pleasure of going against it before uh, recently, and it's just a very consistent and strong deck. It's gotten a few toppings recently, and I believe it actually got a topping in the NAWCQ. But I think Exo Sisters again, is one of those decks that um, a lot of other decks in the current format of either the TCG or the OCG kind of bullied them out. So they've become like more of a tier two to a rogue deck in both formats. Um, but Exo Sisters, I think, does have a very possible chance of just kind of, if it gets the right matchups, um, or the player is just that good, which is also a very possibility, that it can just kind of come in and take worlds for sure. Elemental Heroes, or just Heroes in general. Um, heroes are just a very strong deck. It's one of those decks that just will never stop being playable. Um, and it does get toppings from now from now and then. Um, it even got crazy enough. A really, I don't remember the placing, but I think it got top 32 at the NAWCQ. Um, Heroes are just a very strong deck. That being said, um, the Flame Wingman card that made Heroes like even better is not as far as i'm aware i'm not available because it uh came out in monstrous revenge i'm pretty sure it's banned at the at worlds um so heroes the only thing they got new really to work with at worlds is wake up your elemental hero which is still a very strong possibility but the flaming wingman allowing you to search a favorite contact i believe was just very very strong um so heroes honestly i want to say not likely but there is still that chance um honestly i would put it above uh branded um and we'll put exo sisters above sky strikers here um you know honestly above sword soul as well i just think heroes are just going to <laughs> heroes are gonna have to get not only good luck but have a really good player and uh just driving the wheel essentially um heroes are just very strong there's gonna be a lot of other decks there that uh are just gonna kind of bully it out so I just I, I don't foresee heroes getting worlds but it could just prove me wrong so they could just come out of nowhere and just sweep it all up cash tira uh cash tira has been bullying both formats for a while now uh the ocg just recently banned fenrir um and that is translating over to uh <laughs> worlds uh i don't really know how likely cash is to win worlds um or even really play without struggling Kashira unicorn is limited planet wraith soth is limited and uh diablosis is banned and fenrir is banned and i just again i don't really know how likely 
this deck is to even perform because one of its biggest contributors, Fenrir, is banned. Uh, its second biggest contributor, which searches the field spell that is limited and searches Theosis, Unicorn, is ba uh, not banned, is limited. It's just going to be really hard to see Kash Tira actually win Worlds. Um, I'm put Honestly, I'm putting it under Branded. Um, Branded has still the ability to play, but too many key factors to Kash Tira, I think, just don't play or just can't be played. Also, a Rise Heart is limited. Their boss monster is limited. Their uh, spell card search is limited. Their beat down Pankertops, essentially, Fender, he's banned. And their field spell is limited. I just genuinely cannot see Kashtira doing all that well at Worlds. Um, I'm, I'm sure the pro players, because I'm by no means a pro player, um, I'm sure the pro players will find a way to make this work and possibly even just kick ass with it but from my standpoint uh i just can't see this performing very well in the slightest um but let me know in the comments below what you all think for sure labyrinth i think is going to win worlds uh i know this is a little early because we still got a bunch of other card uh, other decks here i think labyrinth is going to win worlds absolutely um labyrinth went untouched uh, Eradicator is still going to be at three, I believe, and completely legal in the TCG and OCG. So on this ban list, it's untouched. So Eradicator is untouched. The entire deck in general has been untouched in both formats. I genuinely think Labyrinth is just going to come in and sweep. The only thing that makes Labyrinth possibly not going to top is if players start bringing Den siding Denko Seco, which players are already doing. Um, or they start like siding royal decree and stuff, just stuff that are going to stop your opponent from playing trap cards, which is a very possible thing. Um, but I just genuinely think that Labyrinth is just going to just blow out worlds. Um, there's only like one other deck that I think can really compete uh, with Labyrinth, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But I just genuinely can't see very many decks competing with Labyrinth moving forward. Um, so, yeah. Manadium, uh, I, I say it's a yeah, right. Um, Manadium came out in Syac. Uh, obviously, it plays off of, you know, Tier Limits and Cash Tira, but uh, it doesn't really play a lot with Tier Limits. I think it just plays with Cash Tira sometimes. Um, Manadium also got, I think, support in Dune, which just came out um, as of recording this video. And Manadium, uh, well, the Dune cards, as far as I'm aware of, are not legal because they in the TCG, they, it came out after june which i don't know how they're treating dune because i think it came out in the ocg before june uh i could be wrong so i don't know how they're treating duelist nexus by any means for this um because it doesn't specify on the ban list but uh even with the support i just don't see manadium competing all that well at, at worlds um if really going to make an appearance at all um because at, at Worlds, you're going to you're gonna see players only bring the best of the best because they want to win. This isn't going to be like a regional where they're going to bring their rogue and try and do as best as they can or something like that. Or a locals where they're just testing out a cool, fun deck. Uh, we're going to see the best of the best. And I just don't see uh, Manadium making an appearance at all. Um, Marincess. Marincess is another one of those decks that got bullied out because there's just too many ways to take it down. Um, Marincess does struggle from... Uh, the fact that we are kind of in like a kaiju meta where people are playing Santa Claus, Lava Golem, kaijus, etc., etc., thanks to Pearly Noir, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, so Marincess does struggle from that for sure. Um, but Marincess is one of those decks that never really died. It still gets toppings to this day. Um, and it's still a very strong, consistent deck. It just, if, if your opponent has a kaiju, you just scoop. Uh, <laughs> but... Marincess does have a very possible chance of topping worlds, or maybe not a very possible. We'll put it at the bottom of very possible, of course. Um, but it's it has that pretty high chance. Um, you know, I'll put it at top of not likely. Um, just because, again, kaijus are very present, and they're going to be sideboarded and stuff like that, I'm sure, at worlds. Um, because if Cash Tier does make an appearance, people are going to want to get rid of a rice the one a rice heart um so marincess just marincess is going to struggle if there's a lot of kaijus being thrown around at worlds which i'm sure there will be um so marincess 
but like again Burns is one of those kind of like rogue decks essentially that if it just is allowed to pop off you don't have any kaijus you're probably not going to be able to compete um it's definitely like a blowout bully deck for sure and uh the again the issue is that you know these other three decks and very possible kind of can outpace it sky strikers if if uh they can get out their big boss monster a Marincess. uh sky striker just doesn't play the game <laughs> but yeah um Marincess is still a very strong consistent deck we might not even see it at worlds however if we do it see it at worlds it does have the chance as long as the player is very skilled and knows what they're doing um which i mean if they made it to worlds of course they know what they're doing but so yeah mathmec um oof it's hard to say. I want to say bottom of very possible. Mathmech, uh, as far as I'm aware of, even in the OCG, the only hit Math has is circular at one. Um, and that's because of the TCG. Um, the issue is that ever since Mathmech got hit, we haven't really seen any toppings. Uh, as far as I'm aware of, they didn't even get a NAWCQ topping, but um, I don't know every deck that got a topping from there. Um but there's a thousand different ways to get to circular with small world or um, small world or signet mining stuff like that. There's there's a thousand different ways to get to the circular, and he's your combo starter, of course. But there's all Mathematic in general is just kind of a deck full of combo starters. Um, so Mathematic, I would say, has a very good chance, especially seeing stuff like Kashtira and branded decks that I would say can co counter those decks, uh, counter Mathematic, seeing as Mathematic is for a good portion light and dark um we uh there, there's a very good possibility that we we can see math mech taking worlds um but the issue is is that if labyrinth set sets five and passes um good luck <laughs> but so yeah math mech, very good possibility plunder as much as i love the deck mm, yeah right uh <laughs> uh plunder right is by itself not definitely doesn't have a chance plunder adventure does not have a chance because right of aramisir is semi-limited in worlds and griffin rider is banned so the adventure package is gone on top of that and we'll get into this a little bit later runic fountain uh is limited so runic plunder uh builds are definitely hurting because they only have one fountain um so both like both different builds that plunder runs adventure plunder or runic plunder uh both builds just are are hurting so plunder is kind of forced to kind of go by itself if they went and that's the uh, plunder won't stand a chance absolutely not um as much as i love the deck uh it does need either the adventure engine or runic to run and unfortunately it just cannot do that so Pearly, uh, we're putting this at the highest, very possible, borderline most definitely. Um, the issue, the thing that's pulling it down is the same issue that Marincis I was talking about. Pl uh, Pearly Noir, if it gets established, it's at risk of getting kaiju. Kaijus are going to be thrown everywhere, I'm sure. We're going to see Lava Golems, we're going to see Santa Clauses, we're going to see Kaijus in general. Um, and on top of that, Pearly's not only are losing two copies of Delicious Memory, because it is limited in the TCG, the OCG has limited Sleepy Memory. So two of the memory cards are at one in the at Worlds, um, and it took a long while for Pearly players to figure out how to recover after the hit on Delicious Memory. Um, they've managed to establish a good deck now after the whole delicious memory hit um because they got a handful of toppings i think uh at nawcq um i just don't know how playable the deck is without two copies of sleepy memory um mainly because i'm not the most familiar with the deck i'm building it currently but it's an expensive deck um but i haven't done any practice and i haven't had the displeasure of facing this deck <laughs> um so again i don't know how playable the deck is if two of the memory cards are hit but I do know that it is hurting a lot more than decks like Labyrinth. Um, so I hope, I really hope Pearly wins. Um, but I'm, sh like I said, it, when we got to Labyrinth, I'm pretty sure Labyrinth is taking it. Um, so yeah. 
Rescue Ace. This deck was an absolute blowout in the OCG. Um, it's one of the best decks right now in the OCG because of the support that came out in Duelist Nexus. That being said, again, I'm pretty sure Duelist Nexus is banned because it came out after June in the TCG, and I don't know when it came out in the OCG off the top of my head. Um, but the uh, Rescue Ace uh, also does uh the reason that i don't i also don't think rescue ace is going to perform the same uh in the tcg after um the, as opposed to the ocg mainly because the ocg has maxi the ocg has three copies of maxi which by the way it is banned at worlds um but the ocg has three copies of maxi available to them um which does definitely help rescue ace that's not saying Rescue Ace won't be a good deck. It'll be a phenomenal deck still. I just don't think it's going to perform nearly as well without Max C. There's a lot of decks in the OCG that perform a lot better because they have Max C. Um, but Rescue Ace is uh, not one of the, or Rescue Ace is one of those decks that definitely uh, likes having Max C for sure. Um, that being said, I'm putting it at top, not likely, borderline, very possible because the deck is still very playable. Well. If Dune is banned, which I'm pretty sure it is, if Dune is banned, uh, definitely bottom of not likely. Um, if it is not banned, then top of not likely. But I'm pretty sure Dune is banned. Um, like anything from Duelist Nexus is banned. I'm pretty sure. So if that's the case, then Rescue Ace probably won't even make an appearance. Rika, most definitely. Rika is the like one of two other decks that I think heavily contends with labyrinth Rika's untouched and Rika has got gotten a lot of toppings and when i say Rika, i mean Rika sun avalon um Rika has gotten a lot of toppings at regionals uh nationals etc etc it's just a very very strong deck it does hurt it does not like hand traps it doesn't like hand trap disruption in the slightest but it is a very strong deck it's very annoying to go against, and it has not been touched on the ban list, as far as I can tell. I didn't obviously go through every individual card, but I looked for cards that have been relevant in the last yearish or so, and I didn't see anything that involved Rika Sun Avalon. Um, I think Rika is one of three contenders to take it. Uh, again, I think out of the three contenders, though, Labyrinth is absolutely going to take it for sure. Um, but Rika Sun Avalon is a very close contender this deck is very strong it's very annoying to go against it's very hard to counter once it establishes a board um so definitely think it's uh <laughs> i think it's a very close second uh for sure d-link um d-link is the most definitely um dragon link is hurt a little bit here dragon link um has a limited striker dragon as we know in the tcg dragon link has limited bestials which they do like they love the bestials but dragon link's a very strong deck <laughs> um i think dragon link is very consistent very strong uh and honestly some of you in the comments might be saying out of everything on this list dragon link being in the most definitely is a hot take um but i think dragon link is a very strong deck even with the limited bestials um and it has a very 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 strong possibility of taking worlds especially if it gets the correct matchups um it'll just sweep the whole tournament um that being said you know uh we don't really know if it'll even make an appearance we really we just don't know but dragon link if they can get if they end on the right board nothing can, can really compete um and so i think that is our th those three up there uh, those three and most definitely are the only three that are going to be up there uh spoiler alert the rest of these are not going to be up there um but uh dragon link is the is third place i think Rika has a way bigger chance for sure um but runic anything runic when i say this uh when i say runic i mean anything runic i mean sprite fur hire um plunder anything runic uh runic is honestly a yeah right um i think genuinely and i there's a good chance i'm wrong here i think genuinely runic with runic fountain being at one we won't even see runic at worlds um i genuinely think with it being at one the pro players that make it to worlds 
will look at the deck and think, I'm not risking it. <laughs> so I, again, there's a good chance I'm wrong here. A very good chance. Um, I just know that Runic in general has is a very strong deck, and it's very annoying to go against. I know, I play it. Um, but I do know that it doesn't compete with a lot of these other decks that are higher above it. Um, and when I anything in Yeah Right doesn't have an order. Unlike the rest of these tiers, these don't have an order because who cares? Uh, they're not going. <laughs> um, they don't have a chance. Uh, I just genuinely don't think Runic is going to stand a chance, especially with Fountain being at one. That's just too high of a risk. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai, also a Yeah Right. Uh, Scarecrow, base the ban on Scarecrow... Um, <laughs> the ban on Scarecrow basically killed the deck. Uh, they they don't get a lot of toppings now, I, which is unfortunate. I genuinely think they hit Super Heavy Samurai way too early, but um, the hit on Scarecrow it didn't kill the deck. It's still very playable. It's just it it's a lot more hurt to disruption. Um, and the proof of that being is that Droll and Lockbird is no longer being main decked because we're not seeing this deck nearly as often. So that being said, I don't foresee this making it to Worlds. Um, I think the deck is too risky now because it just doesn't have the one card starter no matter what you do. Um, that being said, could be wrong. Um, I just know in the TCG, we don't see a lot of this deck anymore because it's just... The hit on Scarecrow was a lot bigger of a hit than a lot of people thought, for sure. Tier Limit, also a yeah, right. Um, Tier Limit is a weird deck. Tier Limit, you know what? <laughs> bottom of not likely. Uh, I was going to say yeah, right, but bottom of not likely because Tier Limit is one of those weird decks, especially in the OCG, that just won't die. <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Uh, tier Limit is just one of those decks that just won't die. The uh, In the OCG, they are still making it work, and almost everything in the deck is limited or banned. Um, all of the Ishizu cards, with, with the combined ban list, all of the Ishizu cards are banned, or not banned, are limited. Every Tier Limit name, Rhino Heart, Sheeran, uh... Rhino Heart, Sheeran, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, all the big names are banned, or again, limited. They're limited. Uh, Kit Kalos is banned. And the field spell, Perlerino, or whatever, is limited. The field spell, all the big names, Ashizu's, limited. And Kit Kalos is banned. If this makes it to Worlds and does well, I will be shocked. <laughs> this deck just won't die. And a lot of those hits are actually OCG hits. Um,. I mean, there's a good bit of them that are our hits as well. We, I'm pretty sure we all kind of, like, agreed this deck was a big problem. Um, even after it got hit the first time in the OCG, we were just like, no, let's just kill it. The deck just won't die. It's still very playable. Uh, it's just, it's a weird deck now because it's a deck full of one-ofs. Um, but it's still, like, wow. <laughs> um, this, deck, this deck just won't die. Uh, Trap Tricks... <sighs> I mean, the chance is there, but it's not likely. Trap Tricks is just, we have Labyrinth at home. Um, Trap Tricks, the, the, the chance is there. It's just incredibly not likely. Uh, because it, it, it's a trap deck that isn't a trap deck. Like, Labyrinth has, like, I think, it summons three, there's only three monsters that actually hit the board consistently the furniture build i wouldn't count the furniture as monsters themselves uh or i wouldn't count them as hitting the board because they're just used to make chaos angel whereas trap tricks it's a monster and a trap deck and a monster trap deck it's just i don't know this deck's gonna hurt a lot more than labyrinth is for sure uh the chance is still very much there just incredibly not likely <laughs> uh sprite once again this is a this is a yeah right um Unlike a lot of the yeah rights, I think Sprite will still make an appearance uh, because it's just a really cool archetype. It's a fun archetype, and uh, the deck, even under its current hindrances, can still be played as a side engine, kind of. Um, and when I say Sprite, again, it's the same case as Fountain, Sprite anything, uh, Sprite Twin, Sprite Twin Runic, Sprite Tri-Brigade, etc., etc., um, the reason I say yeah right is Sprite 
is butchered on this list. Sprite Starter, Sprite Blue, and Sprite Jet are limited, and Sprite uh, Sprite Elf is banned. So, like, all of the key players of the deck are hit excessively. <laughs> uh, the three starters, Starter, Blue, and Jet, are limited, and... <laughs> The uh, the link two that got played in every deck is banned. Uh, I just don't foresee Sprite performing very well uh, or performing at all at Worlds. It's just it got butchered. It it absolutely got butchered. Like I said, uh, I think it's gonna make some appearances like a side engine, but oh, also and frogs are butchered as well. Uh, not that uh, not that <laughs> sprites have been playing frogs in the last while but ronin tonin subs to toad and uh totally awesome we're all banned at worlds so can't even rely on that vanquish soul um vanquish soul is like a high not likely um vanquish soul is a very strong deck i'm sure we'll see it at worlds absolutely um but vanquish soul uh is another one of those decks that it's doing a lot better in the ocg than it is in the tcg not by much uh it's pretty 50 50 um in terms of how it's performing in both formats but finger still does a lot better in the ocg simply because of maxi again uh it's one of those de decks that rely on the cockroach and and that's mainly because you know you just draw cards and you're drawing the attributes you need you reveal the attributes and you keep doing shit um but they don't have that at Worlds. They don't have that in the TCG. So it's a little bit more of a struggle. Um, so the chance is there. It's not likely, but the chance is definitely there. So, uh, yeah, that is my tier list of who I think is going to win Worlds or who has even a chance of winning Worlds. Um, again, it hurts because some of my favorite decks are actually at the bottom. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, may maybe mention a deck I missed for sure. Uh, let me know if you agree with any of these, disagree with any of these. I'm sure I'll hear a lot of disagreeing. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. See ya!